All right, going back to our uh, spheres here, the one at the bottom is going to be stipple, and this is going to be scrumbling. Very art word. Google absolutely hates it, but it's a real art word, I promise you. Scrumbling. Let's start with scrumbling first because that's super duper easy. Lightly put where your highlight's going to be. But when it comes to your cast shadow, it's literally just kind of um, doodling. And depending on how much layers, how many layers you put on top of it, it actually comes out different. I like to get a nice hairy look. All right, scrumbling. And then stipple, stipple is actually how it sounds. Now, you notice I'm doing dots because I'm going stipple, stipple, stipple. I've had a child come up to me and go, eh, eh. and he was like, it's done. I said, no, you're not. Because you need to have a little bit more patience when it comes to this. And yes, wait till it happens. Because now Woody Woodpecker is in the classroom. 20 of them. And this may take a while. You might want to actually go and go to very short lines, aka points, to get your thought across. If the little snapping drives you and your neighbors crazy. And this one takes the most time. But in scientific illustration, it is actually one of the more preferred methods of shading, especially when you use a pen. Pen and ink, one of my favorite mediums. Mrs. Wisnet, this is taking too long. Notice they are not hatches. They are not obvious lines. And again, with line weight, and just how many stipples you put into an area. I guess a nice smearing going on. Okay. Run with this kind of paper and number two pencils. If you've got this thing going on, it's fine. But a lot of artists actually, when they work with stuff like this, especially with pen and ink, keep their oils off the paper have one glove and you look like Michael Jackson as you work. <laughs> Alright, stipple. So those are the four major ways we're doing